Hello everyone, welcome to this course on From Zero to Hero in Trigonometry. So let us see some questions from JE Advanced in this video. The first question is 3 times sin x minus cos x whole power 4 plus 6 times sin x plus cos x whole square plus 4 times sin power x plus cos power x is equal to. Of course, this question uh, is familiar because we have seen the same question in the previous video. Uh, but uh, so obviously you know how to do this question but in this video um, we are going to take a different approach you observe that the number the answer is independent of x so what you are going to do is you how do you know that the answer is independent of x just by looking at the option all the options are 11 12 13 14 okay so you just put x is equal to 0 okay when you put x is equal to 0 the answer is going to be 3 times 1 minus 0 whole power 4. I'm sorry. It is going to be 0 minus 1 whole power 4 plus 6 times 0 plus 1 whole square plus 4 times 0 plus 1. So the answer is 3 plus 6 plus 4 which is 13. Okay. The regular way of doing this problem has been discussed in the previous video. Okay. The next question, if sine power 4x by 2 plus cos power 4x by 3 is equal to 1 by 5, then, so this is a question with one or more than option correct, okay? One or more than one option correct. So let's see how this can be done. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to substitute sine square x is equal to a, just for the sake of simplification, so that your cos square x becomes 1 minus a, okay? cos square x becomes 1 minus a. What happens now? We have a square by 2 plus 1 minus a whole square by 3 is equal to 1 by 5. So let's simplify this expression. We have 3a square plus 2 times 1 minus a whole square divided by 6 is equal to 1 by 5. So this is 3a squared plus 2 into 1 minus 2a plus a squared divided by 6 is equal to 1 by 5. So 5a squared minus 4a plus 2 divided by 6 is equal to 1 by 5. So 25a squared minus 20a plus 10 is equal to 6. Now 25a squared minus 20a plus 4 is equal to 0. Now this is an interesting equation because you know it's a perfect square. So this is 5a minus 2 the whole square. So from this we get a is equal to 2 by 5. So this is your sine square x. And so your cos square x is 3 by 5. Okay. Now we just need to check the options. We just need to check the options. So we have sine square x is equal to uh, 2 by 5 and cos square x is equal to 3 by 5, right? Yeah, sin square x is equal to 2 by 5 and cos square x is equal to 3 by 5. So tan square x becomes 2 by 3. So this is wrong. Now options B and D, we have to check which one is the right answer. So let's see how this can be done. So sine power 8x by 8 plus cos power 8x by 8 comes out to be 1 by, so it's not 8, it is 27. So this will be 1 by 8 times 2 by 5 whole power 4 plus 1 by 27 times 3 by 5 whole power 4. Now this becomes 2 divided by 5 power 4 plus uh, 3 power 4 by 3 cube is 3. So this becomes 3 divided by 5 power 4 which is 5 by 5 power 4. So the answer is 1 by 5 cube. So this is the right answer and this is wrong. So A and box uh, are the right answers. C and D are wrong. Okay. Now I'm going to generalize this problem and going to give this as an assignment to you. Okay. So try to do this question on your own. If sine power 4 theta divided by a plus cos power 4 theta divided by b 
is equal to 1 by a plus b. Prove that first thing is uh, sine squared theta is equal to a by a plus b. Second thing is cos squared theta is equal to b by a plus b. And third one is sine raised to 8 theta by a cube plus cos raised to 8 theta by b cube is equal to 1 by a plus b the whole cube. So this is the general version of the question we just did. Please try to do this on your own.